Hola amigo, hola amiga. <coughs> ¿Cómo está? Uh, feliz 5 de mayo. <laughs> uh, estoy muy bien. ¿Y tú? So, uh, hello friends, how are you doing? I just want to say happy Cinco de Mayo, which is Spanish for May the 5th. <laughs> I just want to come in and say hi um, <clears throat> and uh, celebrate with all of you. And so, uh, Cinco de Mayo, I've always seen like, uh, you know, parties and what have you celebrations, but I actually didn't know what it was. And so uh, I decided to look it up and uh, I just, Actually, originally, I wanted to actually go find a place to potentially get some food and what have you, but, uh, you know, you can't dine in right now, so I just figured, ah, I'll just look it up and see what it's all about. And so, uh, I'll just share with you what I found out. <laughs> so, Cinco de Mayo is actually, <clears throat> a lot of people think um, it commemorates a Mexican independence, um, but that's actually not true. What it does is that it actually commemorates a, um, a battle, it's called the Battle of Puebla, uh, during the uh, the French and uh, Mexican War, and so um, back then, this was back in 1861. <coughs> um, what was it? So back then, the French and uh, let's see. So Mexico actually uh, had quite a bit of debt payments to different European governments. So France, Britain, and Spain they actually sent naval forces uh, to Veracruz, uh, Mexico demanding repayment and so Britain and Spain were able to negotiate with Mexico and so they withdrew their forces but France which was ruled by Napoleon the uh, third he wanted to essentially take over Mexico and so he went in there with um, a lot more troops than Mexico had uh, uh, let's see here he had 6,000 French troops <coughs> and uh, in Mexico uh, they had 2,000 troops and so uh, on May 5th, 1862, was the actual uh, battle. <coughs> and um, what happened was actually, obviously, the, the Mexicans won. Um, they, the France actually lost 500 soldiers versus the Mexican, who only, uh, who only lost 100 soldiers in the, in the battle. And so, uh, for them, it was a... Um, uh, it was a victory for the Mexican government, essentially, and it helped bolster the resistance uh, during the the most of the resistance movement. <coughs> and so, to me, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, interestingly enough, uh, Cinco de Mayo is actually not um, not a huge celebration in Mexico. Uh, it's not a national holiday or anything, so all their businesses uh, remain open. Uh, but in the states, it's actually um, it's celebrate. It's a they celebrate a lot more in, in the U.S. than they do in Mexico. And uh, really what they do is, for them, it's about uh, raising awareness uh, <clears throat> and celebrating Mexican culture and heritage, right? Especially in areas where there's a lot of Mexican-American. And so... Um, <laughs> and so, you know, there's parades, there's parties, obviously, mariachi music. I'm sure they've, they've got, uh, what do you call those... So those big hats, <laughs> uh, and obviously food, right? Tacos and so forth. So I've never actually celebrated, but I'd love to join one day, maybe next year when things are hopefully open up again. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to share a little bit about what I found about Cinco de Mayo and uh, just want to uh, wish you all a, a happy uh, uh, Cinco de Mayo and hope you're all doing amazing. All right, um, adios, hermano, hermana. <laughs> that means goodbye, brothers and sisters. Okay. See you tomorrow.